What's going on YouTube? This past weekend I hit up a few garage sales and we actually have a ton of stuff going out for the Resell My Way to AK series. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. This is another episode of the Resell My Way to AK series where I've been trying to pay off my $8,000 worth of student loans. This is the total that we're at so far. And I just wanted to apologize for this being post-com footage, but I didn't feel comfortable talking with my voice at this garage sale. I go to this sale every single year because they usually have some of the best stuff. Great prices as well for the most part. I feel like they've gotten a little bit more expensive, but there's always great deals to be found at this garage sale. For starters, I did pick up this Pokemon box for only $15. I don't really know much about Pokemon cards, so if they are worth anything, feel free to let me know. What I will probably be doing is auctioning these off on my whatnot. If you guys click the link in my description, you guys can actually get a $10 credit to purchase these if you'd like. I'll probably be starting these off really, really cheap, so you guys can probably get a good deal. This garage sale also had a ton of watches. So for reference in terms of price, last year they were selling their Invicta watches for literally $30. Well, they only had one and I picked it up, but the Invicta watches this year were $80 bucks i was able to snag this g-shock for 30 though i found this Movado watch they wanted 100 bucks i only found a sold comp on ebay for 160 dollars even though they were selling for around 300 i decided to pass on it just because i don't really know much about it but like i said before i did snag the g-shock for 30 bucks at the same sale i did pick up a few more pieces these playboy jeans were only two dollars i should be able to get around like maybe 15 to 20 dollars plus shipping on them on mercari i also picked up plants vs zombies brand new sealed for the xbox 360 for only five dollars and it's worth around 30 dollars plus shipping on ebay so whenever i'm at a garage sale i'm always going to be looking up sealed lego sets even though this is for easter they only wanted three dollars for it should be worth around 15 to 20 dollars plus shipping this i was kind of hesitant to spend 20 dollars on but it's honestly really really interesting so it's this iron man avengers action figure and it's actually worth around like maybe 70 dollars plus shipping on ebay in pre-owned condition i couldn't really find comps i'll definitely at least double my money and for some reason the footage of the yankee sack cut off but i paid two dollars for it should be worth around 10 to 15 dollars plus shipping on ebay now this g-shock i told you guys about before it's absolutely insane 250 dollars msrp and i only paid 30 dollars for it and then i picked up this nintendo hoodie this thing is pretty awesome i'm going to be selling that on whatnot as well for only two bucks and then also this penn state zip up hoodie for only two dollars as well the next clip is actually going to be some live footage of me and my girlfriend emma and let's show you what we found that was insane that's five bucks what, each that's what i'll get though how are you gonna charge the same amount for like basically a brand new north face as you would like a used like pilled up victoria i don't know five dollars for each north face and a free bat when you look right here there's but no no you're right you're right there. There. and there chopping out a grass so not on ebay look they even looked up this cooler 110 dollars and now it's 50 here I mean, that's half off though yeah but that's could be a not even a sold is it a sold price i don't know anyways do you want to go that one this is just a bunch of strategy guides uh it's like 10 dollars 15 bucks for the whole thing yeah all right because i'll do this and then i'll do the few games that i got over there yeah no problem just wait until you guys see the value of this. I had no idea at the time, but when I looked it up afterwards, I was completely shocked. So in that case, what, 15? And then what, you said 10 for this? So 25? Yep. All right, that sounds good. This is actually a Legend of Zelda strategy guide set, and look at how beautiful this thing is. The books are in mint condition, and I mean seriously, mint condition. Unfortunately, the box did have a little bit of wear to it, but I did find the price of it online on eBay, and the whole entire set sells for $190 plus shipping. From that same sale, I also found this Blu-ray DVD that I'll probably sell on Amazon. It's brand new sealed. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Blu-ray DVD set. Take a look at how much of this is worth on eBay. At the same garage sale with the strategy guides and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Blu-ray DVD, I actually went back later in the day because he said he might have some more stuff for me. For all this right here, I spent a total of only $20. You guys already know I'll be making my money back and being a little bit in the profit with just Mario Kart. But we picked up Mario Kart, this Nintendo Switch adapter, Harry Potter Blu-ray DVD. It's only worth like maybe like $8 after fees on Amazon. And then a couple more books. So definitely worth the $20. Game of Thrones, and then another strategy guide. After this, I hit up a couple more garage sales picked up a few more things picked up this burt funko pop from sesame street for five dollars these beats are literally like new and i paid eight dollars for them picked up this 47 brand brand new with tags hat it has the liberty bell on it i paid two dollars for this and then these pokemon cards i already showed you but we do have 24 ebay sales going out and some of this stuff already sold so let's go ahead and jump into it to start off the sales we actually sold three of the strategy guides that we picked up in today's video we sold mass effect trilogy 13 dollars plus shipping on top we sold the legend of zelda a link between 
Wizarding Worlds for $37 plus shipping on top. And then we sold a Legend of Zelda Twilight's Princess for $23 plus shipping on top. So with this next item, I find it pretty interesting. I picked this up a few weeks ago at the Goodwill Bins. It's called the Flip Belt. I probably have like maybe 10 to 15 cents into this because it doesn't weigh anything. And it's sold for $21.60 plus shipping. So I've probably had these pair of shoes for probably since the beginning of when this series started. Probably have like 4 to $5 into these. And I just took an offer of $15 plus shipping on top. They took so long to sell. And I was just happy to recoup my money. Next up is a video game sale. It sold for $5.60 plus shipping. I don't even remember how much I got this, but I probably spent like a little to no money on it. And then moving on, we sold a VHS bundle. So let's see where it is. Under the blob, the Players Club, brand new sealed. It's this Dragon Ball Z. So there's like maybe, what is it? Eight to 10? 10, 10, I think. Okay, yeah, 10 Dragon Ball Z VHS tapes. And they only sold for $10, but I only have $2.50 into all of this from the bin. So still a little bit of money to be made. In the last video, I picked up this trilogy set called the Renegades for only a dollar and it sold for $13 plus shipping on top. Next sale is actually from today's episode. It sold within a day and it's the Plants vs. Zombies brand new sealed. I sold it for a little bit more than I thought. I sold it for $33 plus shipping on top. So to only have $5 into it, I'm going to be making like a quick $25 in profit after fees. Next up, we also sold another item from today's video and it's this Lego set, the Easter Lego set that I paid $3 for, I think, and it sold for $16 plus shipping on top. Anything that's brand new sealed will pretty much sell pretty quickly as long as it's a good brand name. We also sold a few more strategy guides. We sold another one, this blue one right here, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, and it sold for $40 plus shipping on top. This is literally one of my best buys of the year. The fact that I only spent like $15 on all these strategy guides and they're selling for so much money is crazy. We also sold another book that we picked up in the garage sale from last week for a dollar and it sold for $8 plus shipping. It's called the Riverside Chaucer. And then moving back into the bin that we just were in, we sold this Burt Funko Pop that I paid five bucks for and it sold for $23 plus shipping on top. Mario Kart sold super duper fast and this sold for $28 plus shipping on top. These games always sell really, really fast, especially when they're in good condition. Next up are the Beats. I picked these up and they sold so, so fast. Only $8 into them and they sold for $30 plus shipping on top of Mercari. Take a look at how nice these things are. I can't believe they actually don't sell for more money, but you know what? I'm still happy that I made a little bit of profit. Next up, we have a pair of Nike golf shorts. They're called Tour Performance Golf Shorts. I picked them up for probably like 2 to $3 at the Salvation Army a few months back and they sold for $13 plus shipping on top. I was happy to just accept an offer on these and get rid of them because I've had them for a while. Plus it's summertime now and now's the best time to get rid of them. I absolutely love selling hats. I picked this hat up at the Goodwill bins for probably only a quarter. Even though it's only selling for $11 plus shipping on top, you can't beat that profit margin. Typically, if you can find any 47 brand or new era hats for under a dollar, I would always recommend picking them up. This was the absolute best sale that we have going out today. If you guys didn't already guess it, it's another strategy guide inside the treasure chest box. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time strategy guide sold for $140 plus shipping. The fact that I only have two, three dollars into each one of these is absolutely insane. I can't believe I actually forgot to mention this, but the reason why these are selling for so much money is because I separated them all together in a bundle. I could get like $190 plus shipping, but since I separated it, I got a lot more money, probably like $100 more in sales. I'm also really, really happy with the sale. I picked this shirt up at the Salvation Army probably for like $3, maybe $4 at most. And it's this vintage Splash Mountain Disney shirt and it sold for $30 plus shipping on top. If you guys didn't already know, Splash Mountain is actually discontinued or they discontinued the ride. And even the water was selling for some money on eBay. We also sold the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Blu-ray. We sold it for $65 plus shipping on top. I had it listed for like, I think 70 or $75, but I was happy to quick cash out since I have only $2 and 50 cents into this. So for this next sale, I actually regret not picking up more of these. I picked these up at Marshall's for $14.99 and it's this Cloud Giroud jersey. I picked up two of these in this orange colorway and a black colorway, but this orange one right here sold for $55 plus shipping on top. They probably had around like 10 different jerseys. So if I were smart, I would have picked up all of them, but I was kind of hesitant because there was not really a good sell through rate. If I could go back, I definitely would have picked them all up. Altogether, I picked up six strategy guides and this is going to be the fourth one. It's going to be the last one for this episode. This one right here sold for $55 plus shipping on top. It's the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker strategy guide. I had no idea these strategy guides were as valuable as they were, but if you ever do find them in the wild, go ahead and pick them up. I honestly take a lot of pride in this next sale. If you ever find like titles at the Goodwill bins, you could usually pick them up for really, really cheap. For example, I picked these all up for a quarter apiece and this Thomas the Train 4 VHS bundle sold for $20 plus shipping on top. I probably would have only gotten like 10 to 15 individually, but since I sold them as a lot, they sold for more money and they sold quicker. Next sale, we have one of these Kangol Flex Fit hats that I picked up recently and this sold for $25 plus shipping 
shopping on top. Not only did we pick up so many good items in this episode, but we're literally selling so many items too. Before we know it, I'm going to end up paying off my student loans and I can't wait. Wait.